So I'm talking about uh, working at the ethical edge. Uh, I find that intensive care, there's a lot of ethical challenges we face, but really I think of my job that my real job as an intensive care specialist, it's 50% applied physiology and 50% applied ethics with about 100% communication. And I know that doesn't add up to 100%, 200%, there's not 100%, but that's really what I think my job encapsulates. I think intensive care is just a, a fabulous specialty. It, we've heard today about how it's a, a generalist. We're like the, one of the last of the generalists. We can go everywhere in hospitals. We're valued everywhere. Our decision-making skills, including our ethical decision-making skills, are far in excess of the majority of the other specialties in the hospital. We've been hearing today about how um, women in intensive care, a lot of my colleagues coming through are women and you know, they're managing work-life balance just as well as I've been able to manage work-life balance. I, we've coming from a broad church of different specialties. I trained in anaesthesia but now I don't do any anaesthesia. I'm pure intensive care and you always often have the chance because it is so flexible to have your other interests. For me that's organ donation, for others it's academia, education, simulation, medicine, emergency medicine, it's, we've, it's a broad church that welcomes everyone. So I think we, we have to work, commit ourselves to working after hours. Sick people happen all the time. But it is, it's not unexpected. You have your shifts and then you don't. And you very seldomly am I called about something when I'm on holidays or I don't have my own patients. I call intensive care a tag team sport because what I love about it is when I hand over, I know that someone else now cares for that patient and they're going to keep going with that care and they'll deliver a standard that, that I would deliver. And that's very few opportunities like that in other specialties where often you go home and then it's only the hospital at night care that actually the patient can receive. So you do work weekends, but you do work evenings, but I've been there for many a bath time. And in fact, you know, when the shift ends, usually your colleague comes in on time, you hand over and it only takes a certain amount of time and then you're home. It's only occasionally that you actually you know, force back beyond your normal on-call period. Well, I think we're an early, early and young specialty and I think we're, we're rapidly uh, growing, we're expanding. And I think our importance becomes more and more noticeable when you know, a quarter of the US health budget is spent in the last year of people's lives and a lot of that will be spent in intensive care. We are you know, vital and essential and we are now seeing people and we're doing more, more surgery and saving more people than we've ever been able to in history. I think we are just a young specialty and, and our time will come and people's recognition of us will grow. In my hospital in Nottingham, the uh, new medical director comes from intensive care. We are well placed to really show our skills to the wider public. Well, I think it, it, the audience today, they are very much, they're, they're sort of almost committed. They just, what they're looking for is that reaffirmation and, and to be encouraged as well as some practical advice about what they're signing up for and how do they get the job in the first place. I think you know we should be these days are essential, but we should be even going into the medical schools and really highlighting ourselves as especially as early as we can, so people can sort of get the bug because once it's got you, you're infected for life.